We're at the end of 2022, and the final UFC pay-per-view is a couple of days away. After two massive events back-to-back, -back, here we are at UFC 282, and the light heavyweight champion will close out the event. The rematch to a fight of the year can... Oh, wait, what? The main event of UFC 282 has been called off between Glover Teixeira and the champ Yuri Prohaska. A really unfortunate news that Yuri Prohaska is suffering a very severe shoulder injury is how it's being described to me. Oh, wow, okay, so this is what's happening. Welcome to the fighting business. Don't you love it when you're halfway through a video and the MMA world decides to just blow the hell up? Really puts into perspective just how chaotic this sport is, but no matter what happens, Deeper Dive series shall live on. At the end of the day, UFC 282 is still going, and the division has no other choice but to move forward. Come along as we dive deep into the unexpected clash for the vacant light heavyweight title, and take a closer look at the dramatic twist this event has turned into. The light heavyweight division has been struggling ever since John Jones vacated the title. Bones had a bad fight against Dominic Reyes at UFC 247, and many felt that Reyes had done enough to win the fight, but the judges for some reason scored in favor of Jones, and soon after this controversial victory, Jones vacated the title. The focus then shifted to Reyes, as a lot of people thought he had defeated John Jones, Reyes was basically the uncrowned champion heading into UFC 253. Dominic Reyes now had that what John used to have, being that, that blissful ignorance. But on that night, his opponent Jan Blachowicz, wielder of Polish power, was on a different level. Jan disfigured him in the first round and finished him off in the second, winning the vacant title in impressive fashion. Reyes was never the same after this fight, while Blachowicz was better than ever as he successfully defended his newly won title against middleweight champion Israel Adesanya at UFC 259. What can I say? I'm just happy, you know? Pure happiness. I defend my belt. Now I'm proved that I'm true champion. I think now I gonna have respect from everybody, nobody you know. And in the next fight I will not gonna be underdog anymore, I think so. While all of this was going on, a UFC veteran by the name of Glover Teixeira worked his way to a title shot. And in a surprising turn of events, the aging fighter pulled off the victory and became champion at 42 years of age. And I'm breaking the rules, 42 years old, and I'm gonna keep breaking those rules. His first defense was against one Yiri Prohaska at UFC 275. We all witnessed one of the greatest championship fights of all time. For close to 25 minutes, Glover hung in there with a the young fighter. He was minutes away from defending his title, but Yuri sunk in a submission in the fifth round and walked out of the octagon as the new champion. That was a fight of the year contender, and all of us wanted to see more. The UFC listened, and that brings us to the present day. UFC 282 was to be headlined by a rematch, but a little while ago, News broke out that Yuri voluntarily vacated after suffering a rather gruesome injury to his shoulder. Hello everyone. Thank you for your messages. Thank you for your messages. I have to say sorry to Glover. Uh, I canceled that fight to so short to fight and uh, that's life. Shera turned down the short notice fight and so the co-main event was promoted to the main event. Fortunately, co-main event, we have Magomed Ankalaev and Jan Blachowicz happy to step up and fight for the belt. The undisputed light heavyweight championship will be on the line once Jan Blachowicz and Magomed Ankalaev step inside the octagon at UFC 282. What's happening? Something's happening, you know? I already know that something happened because too much messages, yeah? A strange and somewhat sad twist of fate, but we are getting two of the best fighters competing for the belt, and that is all that we need. Blahovic is a former champion, and he has competed at an elite level for quite some time now. He is 39 years old, but judging by his last fight, Jan has still quite a bit left. Good wrestler, great striker, and more than a capable knockout artist. Blahovic is a tough test for anyone in the division, but his opponent, Magomed Ankalaev, is a rare fighter. I've said for a while that he's going to be a future champion, and uh, I, I really think that he's going to be able to get it done against the former champion. Ankalaev is a combat veteran and former Sambo practitioner. The guy has 18 wins and just a single loss by way of submission. Throughout his UFC run, Ankalaev has demonstrated a superb striking game, a cerebral approach and a lot of patience. You will rarely see Ankalaev act out recklessly and press the action. He waits for an opening, times the counter and lets loose. Blahovic is a talented counter striker himself, but in a pure striking match, Ankalaev might just have the edge as he is much younger and quite a bit faster. With that being said, 
The power advantage rests with Blahovich, and with one shot, he can shift the entire fight, maybe even end it. Most importantly, if Jan decides to chain takedowns, Ankalaev's ground game will truly be put to the test. We will have a new champion, and once again, much like UFC 275, it is old school versus new school. Last time this happened, we got a war between Yiri and Glover. I have a feeling Blahovich and Ankalaev too will put on a show for the fans. The vacant title is on the line after all. In closing, a speedy recovery to Yiri and a happy retirement to Glover, I guess. The former champion has reached a pinnacle of the sport and has nothing left to prove. UFC 275 was likely the last we saw of Glover, and that is one hell of a way to ride off into the sunset. Prohaska will be back from this injury, and the new champion will welcome him back to the octagon as he rightfully deserves. It was easy to argue for an interim title fight, but Yuri vacated the title so that the division could keep moving. And so it shall. UFC 282 is right around the corner. And now that you have dived deep enough into the light heavyweight title bout, Give me your most detailed prediction down below. But for now, I gotta bounce. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.